You know, before we fire off your dad's mortar, maybe we should read the instruction manual. Hey, if a five-year-old Palestinian can figure it out, so can I. Water in the hole! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, if we got your dad's missile launcher, I bet we could hit the house of the bully who went all Tom Sizemore on your eye. Oh, I wish I could get that guy back. I'd like to dress up like a girl and make him have sex with me. Then say, ha! I'm not a girl! You just had sex with a boy who hates you! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, let's keep that plan between you, me, and the string of therapists who won't be able to help you. Ooh, ooh, target, 12 o'clock. <laughs> What's your deal, bozo? We're humiliating you. I have no deal, friend, because I know you soak not me, but rather all those who have ever hurt you. That's so true. We can at least take solace in the fact that there was nothing we could have done to prevent that. Sorry my, um, war veteran uncle here blew up your car. No matter. A car is merely a means of transporting pizzas. Thankfully, the pizzas survived, for they contain the dough of life. Oh, I'm sorry I drifted off. Are you on Thorazine? What the hell? I mean, what, what year is it? Who's president? Roger! Mitch, if you can't finish your route, won't you lose your job? Perhaps. For, lo, when a pie reaches not its destination... A trust is broken forever. Yeah, look, Kung Fu, I prefer my crazy and my bread. Hey, you can use my mom's car to deliver the pizzas. Hey, your folks left Haley in charge. No way she's gonna let you loan your mom's car to this psycho. I'm pretty sure her mind is elsewhere. One thing delivering pizzas has taught me is that Easy Street isn't always the best route. So true. Okay, Steve, when people start a sentence with what delivering pizzas has taught me, that's the go-ahead to tune out. Steve, why don't you come with me on this one? <gasps> hey, Donnie Patterson lives here. He's the bully that beats me up. So, <clears throat> Dipwad's delivering pizzas now. Mitch! That pizza's not for you, Dipwad! Sorry, sir. Now get in here and unclog my shunt! Now I understand. You give me the wedgies you wish you could give your father. <laughs> you, you know I'm gonna kick your ass on Monday for seeing me cry. And I'm going to let you. Great. Another delivery, another life lesson. Let's go, Mitch. No, Steve. You stay. I'd like Roger to join me on this one. What? No! I, I'm your disciple. You chose me. He doesn't even like you. I really don't. On your last delivery, I put a tack on your seat, but apparently it just split the cheeks. Very disappointing. Now, oh, this is gonna be life-changing. That was totally life-changing! You're finally starting to get it, Roger. Hey, where's Steve? And the pizzas! He has forsaken me. I was supposed to be his messenger, not Roger. How could he abandon me after delivering such wisdom? In 30 minutes or less! <laughs> Haley, let me in! I was led astray by a false prophet and I forgot my keys! Do you know what you've done? You got Mitch fired! Why, Steve, why? Because he chose you over me. Steve, the truth I offer isn't personal pan-sized. I bring extra large wisdom to your door. Properly sliced, that's enough for all mankind. <gasps> you didn't fail me. I failed you. And I was canned for your sins. But I forgive you. Wait, Mitch, don't go! I need another slice of truth! Oh my God, he's gone. Yes, he is, Roger. But I have a feeling he'll be back in three days. Ah, oh, your faith is so inspiring. No, I mean he's got to move his car for street sweeping. <laughs>